So Dragon's Dogma 2 has got so many little hidden secrets spread throughout the world and with the map being so big it probably seems like they'd all be spread so thin and far apart but funnily enough there is actually a whole heap of secret items you can find within Vernworth itself anything from seeker tokens to a bunch of fairy stones that allow fast travel and there is actually unlimited yes unlimited wake stones meaning you can become quite literally immortal and so today I wanted to quickly touch on some of these awesome items that you can find within the city of Vernworth. Now the first thing I'm going to recommend that you do provided you have made it to Batal already is to unlock the Trickster vocation and level it up only once to level 2. If you're not sure how to get to the Trickster vocation you'll need to head to Batal. If you are far enough in the story then I'm sure you already know how to get there but if not don't worry you can head to the checkpoint rest town by using the West Ox Cart in Vernworth then you can just follow this little path over to the left and get into Batal without needing a pass as otherwise you can't really get there without doing a bit of a glitch with one of the cards. Now once you're in Batal just head over to this location on the map you pretty much just need to follow the main path until it gets to the creek and then if you head sort of due east you'll end up at the Reverend Shrine and there you can simply talk to this NPC and you will unlock the Trickster vocation. Now like I said once you do get the Trickster simply level it to level 2. It should genuinely only take about two encounters and you'll unlock the augment called detection which you can use on any other vocation. Now this augment will give you audible detection as well as a blinking light on any seeker tokens or wake stone shards making them so incredibly easy to find. They are next to impossible to find sometimes without this augment but with it you'll be drawn to them through the noise that it makes and then you can very clearly see them blinking. So that is the first tip get that augment and then you'll find so many seeker tokens in Vernworth. You should be able to find 15 fairly easily around Vernworth if not in the city then there are plenty more scattered throughout the world and once you do you can unlock this awesome ring at the vocation guild that gives you more HP more stamina and more carry weight now moving on we have some fairy stones there are five in total that you can find in Vernworth and obviously these are great for speeding things up through fast travel but they're not really that easy to come by so here's how to get some very easy ones in Vernworth first and foremost you want to head to the inn and go up to the second floor then out here at the back you'll find a ladder so you climb that ladder jump across the roof like this and then onto the next roof up the top there you will find three chests you'll get some pants a really decent sword for the fighter and a fairy stone as well as a seeker token up there too next head to this area right above the apothecary it's right near the fountain in the middle of town you just want to jump into this balcony here head through the building then use the ladder to climb up onto the roof from here you want to jump across to the next roof where this catwalk is and just keep in mind that jump is a little bit hard at first it is definitely easier if you sprint jump then just head across here and up the next ladder head across that roof and down below you'll see a chest with another fairy stone in it from that exact spot you then want to follow this path through the town and pass where you can get your own house and then turn left into this section you want to sprint jump onto the roof of that little well now this can be a little bit hard and I actually got a little bit frustrated at this I got it on the first attempt and then every other attempt after that I could not get it but keep trying and you will get it eventually if you guys are a thief as well it is actually way easier to do the wall jump so it's worth giving that a try as well now once you're on top jump across to the next balcony and you will find a chest with another fairy stone next up you want to head to the castle area but right before that you want to turn left and head into this little courtyard here head all the way over to the wall on the left first and foremost you will find a seeker token there but then when you've got that jump over that wall and around the corner you will find a chest with the fourth fairy stone in it keep in mind if you feel stuck on your way back there is a ladder here that I couldn't see initially so don't make the same mistake as me. Now last but not least this is at the very back of the castle area right on this back wall pretty much at the most southern point of Vernworth and you'll just find the chest sitting here open that for your fifth and final free fairy stone in Vernworth. Now if you guys are new to the channel and you are enjoying the video so far be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications there's plenty more content like this on the way so make sure you don't miss out. Now while we're talking about fairy stones there is actually a way to get technically unlimited fairy stones here keep in mind you do have to buy them but you can essentially refresh them as many times as you want so if you guys do have unlimited money and be sure to check out my last video for how to do that you can just go to this apothecary there is a fairy stone available here but then once you've got it you can go and rest and come back the next day and it will refresh so obviously it is 10,000 each time that is not cheap but like I said be sure to go and check out my last video for how to earn 400,000 per hour and that is going to make money no worries in the world for you guys therefore equaling essentially unlimited fairy stones now last but definitely not least we have a bit of an exploit here as to how you can get 
quite literally unlimited wake stones in this game. What I will say is I would probably stock up on these while you can because there is every chance they do patch this eventually. It's not a glitch, so there is a chance they don't patch it, but yeah, it's something that I don't imagine they intended to let us do. You can literally get as many of these as you want and they can make you pretty damn overpowered. So I have a feeling they may patch this eventually. Be sure to do this before they do that. Now, all you need to do to get the unlimited wake stones is you want to dismiss your two hired pawns and get two level two pawns. Now, if you've got pawns that you really like and you don't want to get rid of them, don't worry. In the advanced search, you can actually find the current pawns that you have hired in the past. So yeah, don't worry about that. Now, in the advanced search, you want to search for level two pawns and make sure that they do not have quest knowledge. The whole reason we want level two pawns without quest knowledge is that they only have one task for you. Travel with them for one day and one night and you will receive a wake stone shard. So hire two pawns like this. Once you have hired two, you just want to leave the rift, head to this bench around the corner and sit and doze off until the next day. It should be four times to click triangle or Y in order to make it to the next day. Once you stand up, you will be awarded with two shards and that is literally all you have to do. So go back to the rift stone, rinse and repeat, do that same search, replace the two that you just hired with two more and then sit and wait until the next day. Boom, two more shards. Every time you get three shards, that is a full wake stone that you've earned and you don't even need that many to be honest. Even having 10 of these is like wildly overpowered. I doubt anyone is gonna die 10 times on one adventure. So yeah, you don't have to do this for like five hours to get 99 of them. You probably only need like five to 10 and you are gonna be absolutely overpowered. So enjoy being immortal because with this, you pretty much cannot permanently die. So anyway, those are some fun little secrets you guys can find in Vernworth. If you want to see one of these for other places on the map, let me know down in the comment section and stay tuned for the next video as I'm going to be showing you where you can get five port crystals, meaning you are actually going to be able to fast travel to any five locations you want on the entire map at a moment's notice. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.